Hello and welcome, and today we're going to be addressing keybinds. More specifically, I want to talk and address new players in general. So if you have a new player that is uh, looking to set up their keybinds for the first time, uh, or if you're the one transitioning from clicking and you're trying to go into keybinds, hopefully I can help you out here today. We're going to go over a few different things, such as why you should use keybinds. Um, we're going to be talking about what bad keybinds look like, and that way you know how to avoid them for specific abilities. And then how to look at your keybinds uh, and how to put abilities to those keybinds. And uh, for that part, I'm going to be giving you uh, a few simple questions to think about whenever you're setting up keybinds for a new character, uh, or if you're just starting out, it'll get, make it uh, setting up your abilities a little bit easier. Why use keybinds? So it's going to save you time. Uh, it's going to optimize your gameplay a little bit more. Uh, it's going to streamline how effective you are. It's going to give you a little bit more consistency as well. Uh, and remembering good keybinds uh, makes it a lot easier. So typically you want the abilities that you hit regularly. You want those to be very easily accessible. Uh, whereas if you hit a defensive cooldown by accident, that's kind of a big detriment to you. Uh, like on Warriors, it's going to be uh, a big ticket ability like Shield Wall. You don't want to accidentally hit Shield Wall. You're going to be missing out on a huge defensive cooldown. So making that a little bit harder to hit is going to be super helpful for you while playing through the game. Whereas you want to make something like Execute, Revenge, or Shield Bash, you want to make those very easily accessible and if you bump them by accident it's not going to affect you negatively really you can't really put them on cooldown if you don't have a close enough target so it's not that big of a deal if you hit that uh, and that includes something like ravager where if you hit it it's going to pull up a circle usually um, unless you have it macroed uh, it's going to have a circle that you have to place and if you just hit something else it's going to cancel that or if you right click it's going to cancel that ability you can't accidentally really press that button and, and lose out too much. Uh, just while we're riding off of that topic, we're gonna be talking about bad keybinds and what they look like and what you can look out for. You don't want something like Shield Bash on a Warrior, which is something that you press every eight seconds uh, or whenever you have a proc. You don't wanna, you don't wanna have it on a, an extremely bad keybind uh, just to go to the real extremes to give you a really bad example. Uh, Control Y would be pretty ridiculous to have Shield Bash on. Uh, it's something you press very regularly and making your hand do gymnastics just to press that button. Uh, it's a little bit ridiculous. So you want it on something pretty easy to hit. But there may be an instance where you have an ability and, and big enough hands that control Y isn't that big of a deal if you hit a defensive or an offensive cooldown. Something as simple as hitting shift Z that is going to be still a little bit difficult to hit. Uh, your your hand kind of doesn't want to do shift Z very easily. It feels a little bit weird. You're typically hitting shift with your pinky and then Z with your ring finger. It kind of just feels a little bit off, whereas shift X is a little bit easier to hit in comparison, right? You're not really tucking that finger in under everything the same way that you would be with Z. So I'm going to be putting something like I have battle shout on shift Z, right? It's something I have to hit once every 60 minutes. It's not that big of a deal if I can't really hit it right this second because I only have to hit it once every 60 minutes. And then finally, we're gonna be talking about how to look at your keybinds and how to put abilities to those keybinds. And uh, the three questions that we're gonna be wanting to ask, how valuable is the ability? How much value do you get from using that ability at the right times, etc.? If I accidentally hit this ability, how much of a detriment is it? How how negative is the impact or how positive is the impact if I accidentally hit this ability, right? And thirdly, the question that we're gonna ask ourselves is, is this ability something that I can hit quickly and accurately whenever I need it? So what is the value? What is the impact of that ability? And am I able to hit that ability quickly, accurately, right as I need it? Uh, if we look at something like Shield Wall for Warrior, what is the value of the ability, right? So it's a huge defensive cooldown. Uh, and it has a very long cooldown. So it's a three and a half minute cooldown, but it gives me a 40% damage mitigation or damage reduction. So if I accidentally hit this ability, it's a huge negative impact. It's a three and a half minute cooldown. And if I hit it, let's say right after a pull is finished, that's gonna suck, right? I won't have that ability for the next pull. It's kind of a big deal, right? But uh, if I'm able to use it at the right time, then it provides me a ton of value. When I place it on a specific key, is that key easily accessible? quickly and accurately, right? So for me personally, I, had, I, I put shield wall on the tilde key right below the escape key. Uh, the tilde key is gonna be that one right uh, above tab and below escape. That is a button that I can't really accidentally hit. Uh, for me personally, it's a little bit harder. I have to really go out of my way to hit it as compared to hitting one. It may not look that way, but it does feel a lot farther for me in my hand. 
um, hitting the tilde key versus the one key. For me, that ended up working out. So I, that's an ability that I can quickly and easily and accurately hit uh, whenever I need it. And it's a lot harder for me to accidentally hit. The other thing that I want to uh, mention as well is, is there a follow-up ability that you end up using? So Shield Bash, Revenge, those end up being abilities that I end up using pretty interchangeably, as well as uh, Thunderclap or uh, Whirlwind, right? So those abilities I need to be able to hit pretty easily and quickly after each other if I'm in an AoE uh, grouping. So I need to pretty easily be able to hit Thunderclap and Revenge uh, one after the other without too much downtime. I'm going to get a, I'm usually going to Thunderclap and then I'll get a proc of Revenge. Uh, so I need to be able to hit that pretty quickly. So for me, I have Z as Thunderclap and then two as Revenge. So uh, going from Z to two, it uses two completely different fingers. I'm not going from Z to one, right? Z to one it uses the same finger. Uh, so that'd be a little bit more cumbersome. So I, I'd end up using my ring finger for both of those. Uh, whereas Z to two, I end up using my ring finger and my middle finger. They don't really overlap. They don't twist up or uh, I don't have to quickly move one finger to another key, one short duration after another, which Z to one is not that bad. But if I was going Z uh, to shift one or Z to, uh, to the F1 key, right? That would be a pretty big jump. That'd be much harder to hit. So I want to be able to think about those things while playing the game after I'm more used to the class. Uh, so as you kind of get used to setting up keybinds and you start to play with your keybinds, do not hesitate to change them up further, even though you might have felt like you just got used to them and you might need a little bit more time uh, to get used to these keybinds. If something feels awkward, it's probably always going to feel awkward to you. Uh, so changing that up and make it a little bit more, uh, make it a little bit less cumbersome for you that's going to help you a ton in the long run because that's going to help you on all of your classes, not just the class you're playing currently. And the reason that I mentioned that is that uh, across the board, whenever you're playing multiple classes, you're going to be wanting to put similar abilities on the same keys as each of the classes. My R ability I know is going to be a stun. Uh, on my rogue, it's going to be kidney shot. On my warrior, it is going to be shockwave. F is my charge ability on warrior. F on my rogue is going to be shadow step. So once you get kind of used to having all of your keybinds set up, uh, like I mentioned, the three questions, uh, value, impact, and uh, accessibility uh, of that key and ability. So judging your keybind and ability combo, if you have something like Q, uh, you want to put that on something that you hit fairly regularly, um, and it's not that big of a detriment to hit by accident. Uh, again, your fingers could shift off of W and you accidentally hit Q. What is that going to do to your gameplay? You're not likely to hit an accidental shift Q. That's going to feel more deliberate, right? You're going to really be going out of your way to hit shift and Q, but accidentally hitting Q is a lot easier. Just keeping those sorts of things in mind. But then there's those weird quirky keybinds uh, that you can think about with the modifiers. Like for myself, I have control space bar. That is my mount. So on every class, uh, every character that I have, control space is always going to be my mount. I also have the uh, Shift S, that is another mount ability. So this is going to be the non-dragon riding mount for me. Just things to keep in mind, there are a lot of keybinds that you can be using. You have 1 through 5 that are pretty easily accessible, then Q through T, uh, that uh, minus W, because you're going to have that as movement keys most often. Uh, so that gives you a few keybinds. And then Z through V, uh, those are all great keybinds. Um, you can also hit the tilde and then you can hit shift and control of all of those pretty easily. Um, if you're not new to playing an MMO, uh, or just computer gaming in general, if you're playing first person shooters, hitting shift is going to be pretty easy to you because you probably hit that ability for sprint, right? And control is usually crouch. Your pinky strength, if you've been playing PC games previously, uh, should already be built up. But if you're new to PC gaming entirely, you're coming from consoles, let's say. Uh, or worse yet, you're coming from phone gaming. Um, good for you. Big jumps there. If you're coming from any of those other options for gaming uh, outside of PC gaming with a mouse and keyboard, hitting shift and control is not going to be as intuitive to you. Um, and it's going to feel like your pinky just kind of gives out on you after a few hours. Uh, so definitely give your hand plenty of rest if you're still getting used to and building up the muscles for your pinky uh, to hit those abilities. Uh, alt is kind of an outlier. It's a lot harder to hit for a lot more people. Uh, that's something that you end up having to hit with your thumb. It's just generally a little bit more cumbersome, uh, but it is something that you can definitely use on uh, keybinds or keys that you don't hit very regularly. They're kind of out of the way. 
Uh, you don't really need a keybind for those abilities, right? So that that sort of thing can be thought about with alt. Um, or if you just used everything else and now you're looking at uh, alt keys. So I know a lot of people though use uh, shift, control, and alt as uh, either party frame selectors or arena. They'll do it as uh, arena one, two, and three, right? So uh, shift, control, and alt. It'll be arena one, two, and three um, specifically. So you have a ton of options and flexibility across the board for any of these keybinds. Um, so hopefully you're able to send this video to that player that you've been trying to convince uh, to stop clicking uh, or just get into PC gaming in general uh, and they have no idea how what keybinds even are. So that's the ultimate goal for this video um, and I hope I was able to help. Feel free to leave a comment below uh, if I did aid you. Uh, and like I said, if there's any other videos that you wanna see from me, please let me know as well, uh, whether it's in Discord or the comment section. Take care.